What does it take to get kicked off a flight? Well, according to this story, it might just take a shirt and a hat. Uh, Amanda Stevens is a video game reporter, and she was on her way to the League of Legends quarterfinals, or uh, yeah, quarterfinals. And she was kicked off a United Airlines flight. Why is that? Well, according to her side of the story, she was wearing a hat that had Black Panther on it. Some people might interpret that as the, uh, the Black Panther uh, group. Or the Black Panther Marvel superhero, which is what she said it was. And then also she was wearing an upside down flag on her shirt, uh, which she said was an ASAP Rocky shirt that was discontinued. Um, and then she was kicked off the flight. Uh, according to uh, United Airlines, uh, the flight attendant was able to do this, and that's part of protocol. We'll find out more about that from Jason later. But um, United Airlines reached out to uh, io9, which is a video game blog uh, news outlet that was reporting on it, saying, we have reached out to Miss Campos to discuss her concerns. Our goal is to provide safe and comfortable travel for all of our customers, and we regret that Ms. Campos was unhappy with the handling of the seat assignments on her flight. United holds our employees to the highest standards of professionalism and has zero tolerance for discrimination. Only one problem. Her name wasn't Mrs. Campos. So even in trying to explain themselves to, uh, to io9, they did it wrong. What did they say, actually, when they found out who they were supposed to be talking about? We are in contact with Miss Stevens to discuss this matter further. <laughs> Both United and SkyWest hold our employees to the highest standards of professionalism and have zero tolerance for discrimination. So what does it take to get kicked off a flight? Whose side are you on? What do you think really happened? Thoughts, five words or less. Decent publicity for Black Panther. That hat ain't gonna fly. Flying sucks mostly. That's Fair. the thing. It's like it's always gonna suck, but yeah, so this is according to Miss Stevens. Uh, I didn't know I was gonna be, st basically, to find out whether it was the outfit or the hat, there was a, an interaction with the pilot as she was walking to the, past the bathroom. The pilot was like, eh, I don't like that. And then Miss um, Stevens, after being confronted, was slow, it seems, to put her bag in the overhead bin. And then after that interaction, the flight attendant asked her to leave the plane. Well, and if you read the story too, they say that she's they she's worn this outfit before on on the airline. They have asked her. She turned the shirt inside out and took off the hat one time before. Right. So, but to um, the pilot. So, okay, there's a contract of carriage that you agree to when you purchase an airline ticket online, and you may you don't. They're not going to email that to you because it's a lot. But in, in 2016, um, April of this year. Um, the LA Times did a story on it because someone else got kicked off. And, and Southwest, Southwest Airlines, I fly Southwest a lot. Um, they have a 45-page contract of carriage that's constantly being revised. So airlines do have the right to not let you fly if they feel that there is imminent danger of you being on the plane that may cause the plane to be, you know, um, rerouted someplace. But if there's not, they also go by your attitude. So let's say, like, she was throwing yeah. shade or was, you know, disgruntled or had a bad attitude or looked at you a certain way then they could say, yes, you are a flight risk. Yeah. Which is, which is I mean, what if Listen, I have like resting bitch face daily? You right. Know, does that make me a flight risk? He, I know a lot of flight attendants and I know a lot of pilots. Oh yeah. And pilots face a lot of uh, discrimination. Like I know two pilots who look really young and people have walked on the plane and gone, I'm not taking this plane and gotten off the plane because these 35 year old pilots look 25 and they just don't want to get on it. Yeah. So I think that goes both ways, but the flight attendants don't want to kick you off the plane because then they have to do more paperwork and more bullshit. And so if you, the, the, they would rather have you be on that plane and a normal person. You, I, I think in my experience, it has taken a lot to get flight attendants to be like, get the hell off. For sure. I, I do think it's interesting. No offense that, to Jake. Um, I do think it's interesting that she has had a very similar encounter before and she says she turned the shirt inside out and took the hat off. Right. Um, because that to me indicates that she probably knew that this might have made uh, other flight crews in the past uncomfortable and <clears throat> kind of didn't care. But then another part of me is like, well, she should be able to wear whatever the fuck she wants. Absolutely. Right. Like, clothing really shouldn't be a factor, but it does, it is sort of interesting to note that she's been experienced with this before and if it were me I would just want to avoid the problem entirely you know but then again you know if she's super married to this ASAP Rocky shirt hey he is an amazing musician you should be able to support it Black Panther I think is going to be a dope film you should right. absolutely be able to support it it seems silly to have to 
uh, change your attire because other people are uncomfortable. Yeah, really quick specifically about that shirt. Like, I understand wanting to wear a shirt that's been discontinued because it's controversial. Yes. Um, and I think the kind of attitude that would be behind that shirt seems to also be the kind of attitude that would want a story written about you because you're like being, you know, screwed mm -hmm. with. That said, there's also the reason people get uh, higher scrutiny m much of the time and uh, the flight attendants sometimes have to like pay more attention to it is just straight up racism. And so maybe if this person was being profiled because they had a certain skin tone, um, there is something to be said for that. And the question is where do you draw the line? Uh, you don't wanna be doing it because of racism. You wanna, and if you can point to it and say, listen, the reason we have heightened security is because people who didn't like America crashed planes. Mm -hmm. And one way to say that you don't like, like America is to hang the flag upside down. See, I, and excuse my ignorance on that. I did not know, I mean, my brother's in the army. I always thought the, the way you disgrace the flag is having it on the floor. I wasn't aware because I looked at the shirt and thought if I, and I, and I always like to put myself in the situation of the both parties. So the pilot, if I was flying that airplane and I saw the shirt, I wouldn't interpret that as um, offensive, and maybe I should, maybe I, I mean, like again, I, my ignorance, I'm sorry about that, you guys. Um, but then the hat also had a clear designation of the character. Yeah. <laughs> the hat looks like a Marvel. Well, yeah. It's like, yeah, they sell a Star Wars yeah, one right. like that at Target. Also, I, I guess what I'm also thinking about is why didn't this flight crew handle it the same way that a flight crew did in the past and just ask her to turn the shirt inside out or just put on a different shirt or, you know, hey, we're so sorry, this is a huge pain. We don't want to do the paperwork like you were saying. Right. We don't want this to be a big deal. Could you just put on a sweatshirt or we can give you a blanket or something? I don't know. You're it's, asking for more specific protocol because right now it's kind of in It's the... very vague. One flight crew handled it one way and then a different flight crew was like, oh, kick her off. I, that to me doesn't seem fair. I think there should be an across the board sort of uh, protocol. Yeah, I think, well, an another thing about flight attendants, you know, there's the Association of Flight Attendants that has 60,000 members. I was reading an article about how certain airlines um, flight attendants are a little bit more... Old? Right, old school, like Delta. I fly Delta as well, and I, I mean, I was on a red eye from New York one time, and the Delta flight attendants were very adamant about me just putting things up. And I had a whole row to myself and they would not let me lay down without, because for, they didn't want me to take my seatbelt off, which I get. So I think that certain airlines are probably a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for, Brett? Burn, when's it my turn? Strict, yeah, <laughs> shut up. Strict uh. when it comes to certain things. But I agree with you 100%. If she flew before and Southwest said, hey homie, turn your shirt inside out, take the hat off, we're cool then every other airline should be able to do the same. I think the it's, only thing we know for sure is that she loves this outfit. Clearly. Yes. She loves it. Like this yes. is her Ride favorite or die. outfit. And yes. she is committed to it and I respect that. Fli yeah, and, and to answer that question, it's the different flight crews. It's the different individuals, how far on they are in their flight because they could be gone for five, six days from their home and have done a red eye with day rest before that. Right. Mm -hmm. So just be fucking nice to them. That said, I totally understand that there are flight attendants who go too far and there's, there is racial profiling that goes on when people get on a plane. Like I know a lot of Sikh people are like, why do you hate me because I have a turban? Like I'm not even, I'm, I'm so far removed from that. Yeah. Like you're being stupid. Um, anyways, what are your thoughts? Give them to us in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel and we'll see you next time on Popular Trigger.